Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Tori. This is my channel, Tori Moves. Today we're going to be doing a total body workout using just this glute band here. I noticed a lot of people have these. Um, if you don't, you can still do the workout. You just won't get the resistance. And if you need to buy one, I'm going to link um, in the description below to where you can find them. So let's get started. You're going to put the band first um, Put your two legs inside and then bring it up just like an inch or two above your knees. And most of them have this nice little like grippiness on the inside so it doesn't roll like the rubber bands do, which is pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to have your feet just slightly wider than hip width apart. So you want it to just be so you can feel the tension on the band. I'm going to spread into my 10 toes. Take a deep breath, roll my shoulders back and down, stand up as tall as I possibly can first. And then I'm going to start to bend my knees, sit down low. You can reach your arms out in front of you and then stand up tall, coming back into that straight line. So this is just a basic, basic squat. And what I'm watching for is that my knees are tracking right over the middle of my second and third toe. And I want to feel like as my hands reach forward, my rib cage pulls back into my body. So I'm getting some core engagement. Reach. We have about four more here. Sit down low, trying to just increase your range of motion gradually, slowly lowering, and then stand up tall. We'll do two. And then this next one, we're going to hold at the bottom here. So reach your arms forward. Keep your neck nice and long. We're holding for nine, eight, seven, six. Try and sit a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two. One, now we're gonna pulse our hips down just an inch and up an inch. Make sure you're still breathing so I can already start to feel it on the outside of my hips here. Hopefully you can too. And I'm not really doing anything extra, just the action of trying to keep my knees parallel is what makes me feel this. Okay, hips down a little bit and up a little bit and two and one. And then stand up nice and tall, take a deep breath. Roll the shoulders up back and down. So now this next part is for stability through your hips and it's also to help build that the muscles in the sides of the glutes. So I'm gonna put my hands onto my hips, bend your knees, sit down low, and then you're gonna um, step your left leg out to the side and then let it come back in. So what I'm watching for here is like the rest of my body is as still as possible, still like a statue, and my leg just moves out and in. We're gonna do about four more on this side. I have four and three, and two, and then we're gonna hold it out there. Okay, now I'm gonna bend into my standing knee just a little bit more and up. And bend into my standing knee just a little bit more and up. This heel can be lifted slightly. Good, and four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, step the foot back in, stand up tall, roll your shoulders back and down, take a deep breath. And then sit your hips down low. Pull your navel in and up to support through your abs. I press into my left leg and then step the right one out a little bit and back in. And out and in. Good. And watch that your hips and your pelvis don't twist and rotate as you're stepping out and in. You're trying to keep your standing leg as still as possible using the inside and the outside of your leg. Ooh, this is a little bit of my weaker side. Let's do three. Keep breathing. When all else fails, make sure you're breathing. And then one more time, step it out. Have your ball of your foot down, your heel a little bit lifted. We're going to bend into our standing knee a little bit more and then come up a little bit. So your, both of your knees should be bent the entire time. Your standing knee is just bending a little bit more and then less. Ooh, this is a good one. This is so good for increasing your range of motion for your squat and for helping to build all those stabilizing muscles that help with your balance. Let's do three. And two, knee is still tracking right over the toes. And one. Ooh, okay. I'm going to step it in. Nice little warm-up. I hope you're feeling warm because I definitely am. I feel like someone turned the heat on in here. <laughs> we're going to spread the toes out. We're going to go into some plie squats. So the difference with this in a regular squat, your body has to go forward a little bit like your upper body. You crease at the hips. In a plie squat, you're trying to stay upright. So just your knees bent, but you get taller from the hips up. So the heels will be together, toes apart. Take a deep breath, and then you're going to bend into your knees, sit down low, and then back up nice and tall. 
And again, sit down low. So this is a total body movement, meaning that my collarbones are open, my shoulder blades are drawing together, my abs are pulling in and up, especially as I go down. Just channel your inner ballerina, your inner dancer. And this little bit of turnout is helping to use my inner thighs, and you're going to feel it mostly in the outside of your hips because of the band. Now let's hold it down here. So I want to make sure that my feet are in a, a V position and not a turnout position like a dancer. So that way when I lift my heels up, my heels stay connected. That'll help with your balance. Keep your toes spread and then drop your heels down and lift your heels up. Make sure you're breathing. You can exhale as your heels lift and inhale as they lower. We have four and three. Feel like you're gripping the floor as your heels come up and two and one. Now hold it here. You should feel your heels pressing into each other and you should feel that travel all the way up to your seat muscles, to your sit bones, right at your inner thighs. You have the option to keep your heels lifted or to lower them down. We're gonna bend our knees more, lower your hips down an inch and then up. Whew, and down an inch and then up. Keep going for eight and seven. Whew. <laughs> lost my balance there and six that's okay if you lose your balance just keep going get right back into it and five and four trying to get a little bit lower each time and three and two and one nice okay Whew. we'll set our heels down roll your shoulders back and down <clears throat> okay Next, we're gonna bring our feet back to a parallel position. I'm gonna turn to the side because I feel like you can see this a little bit better here. This is gonna be for our hamstrings and the back of your leg. So I'm gonna stand on um, my left leg first. And this, it might be helpful if you know balance isn't your strong point to have your hands on like a table, a counter, a wall, something like that. I'm gonna do it out here just so you can see me better. You can also have your hands on your hips if you wanna challenge your balance. I'm gonna float my one leg behind me. <clears throat> now first all I'm gonna do is just gonna press my leg back and then let it come forward. And press it back and then let it come forward. Let's do that eight more times. We have eight, so you want to make sure that you're keeping your low back long and you're not moving this area of your body. You're just moving your femur inside your hip socket. We have four, stay low, keep the bend in the standing leg, and three, and two, and one. Now you're going to hold it back there. Okay, this is where the little balance is going to get tricky if you're out here in the middle like me. We're going to flex into our feet. That means the standing foot is on flat on the floor the behind you is flexed. And then you're going to point, which means you're going to lift your standing foot up and point your toes. And flex and point. Good. And flex and point. Keep the pressure on the band. We have eight and seven. Whew. This is a tough one. And six. Just do the best you can. And five, we're halfway there. And four, breathe. And three, whew. and two, okay, last one, we got this. And one, <laughs> oh, I really felt that one. Okay, whew, take a deep breath, stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna turn and face the other way just so you can see what I'm doing, but we're just switching to our other leg. So now you'll be standing on your right leg. Both knees will be a little bit bent. Your hands can be on your hips or you can be having your hands on a wall or the chair in front of you. You're gonna bend your back knee and then keep your hips square as you slide the leg back behind you and then let it come back in. So you should feel the pull on the band. It's wanting to pull on your standing leg as well as um, it's resisting the leg that's moving backwards. Good. Keep going. Make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears. We have three and two. And don't get into a rush because that next one's tricky. <laughs> and one. Okay, now hold it here. Whew. Feel the strength in your standing side. Spread your toes. You're going to flex through the foot. And then you're going to point your toes, lift the heel up. And flex. Good. And point and lift. Okay. We have eight and seven and six and five. You can do this. We're halfway there. And four. Whew, don't fall over. That'd be fun, right? And three. 
and two, my legs starting to shake, and one, oh, whew, that second side was a little bit harder than the first one for me. It's normal for your two sides to be a little bit different. Okay, so we got our standing stuff done. I'm gonna take my band off from where it was above my knees, and I'm now gonna take it and put it on my arms, just about an inch or so above my elbows here. And if you don't have space, you can put it like around your forearms. It, I think that makes it a little bit more challenging because the further it is away from your body, the harder it is to hold. So the closer you can get it, you just don't want it right over your elbow joint because then it's gonna pull on it. Okay, so let's meet me in a plank position here. So you can have your palms down. Now, anytime when we're moving around here, if you feel like you need to set your knees down, go ahead and do that. Add that in to give yourself a break and you can slowly build up to doing this whole series in a plank. So first, let's just press one leg back. Take a deep breath here. Feel your navel hug in towards your spine. And then let's switch and press the other leg back behind us. Just press through your toes, get the length through your body. Now press that foot down into the floor. Step your other leg back to meet it. We're holding in a plank. We're just going to hold here for 10 seconds. So feel the bottom of your ribs pull up towards the ceiling so your abs are engaged. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We'll set the knees down for a moment. Whew, take a deep breath. So that was our little, our little plank warm-up. For this next part, we're going to be doing everything on one side first before we switch to the other side. So that way you can feel your one side of your body getting fatigued. So I have both legs out here. I'm gonna keep my um, left leg down. I'm gonna lift my right leg up and then tap it down. It can be flexed or pointed. Now make sure you're just lifting the leg up and not lifting your hips up with it. We have eight and always remember your knee can be down and seven and six five and four and three and two and one. Okay, hold it here. You're going to point and flex through your foot. We have nine, keep breathing, and eight and seven and six. Spread the toes, spread through your fingers, push into your palms, five, four, three, two, I'm already sweating, and one. Hold it here. Little pulses up towards the ceiling for 10, nine. Feel your glutes squeeze. Eight, seven, six. Push into the left side on the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Set that foot down. We're going to sit back into a little child's pose here. Give your hands a little break. Roll out through your fingers. Take a deep breath. I don't know what it is. Every time I hold a plank, I start just like dripping in sweat. <laughs> My body is allergic to planks. That's what that means. Okay. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> You're going to have your palms down on the floor. Always remember you can set your knee down, okay? Don't be a hero. Listen to your body. Challenge yourself today so that way you can challenge yourself tomorrow and not be so sore that you can't work out or move. I'm going to press one leg back and then the other. Okay, take a deep breath here. So we're just going to be lifting our left leg up off the floor and drop it down. And lift and lower. We have eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then hold it here. You're going to point and then flex and point and flex for eight and seven and six. Keep breathing, pull your navel in towards your spine. Don't let your hips slip up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, hold the foot pointed. Little pulses up. Glute, don't lift your hips higher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Set the knee down. We're going to sit back into our plank here. Take a deep breath. Okay. We're about halfway through this workout. 
You guys got this. We're so strong. We have one more series of things we're going to do in our plank, and then we're going to move on to a different position of the body, give our arms a little rest, okay? If you need to, you can always come down onto your forearms, okay? So you're going to have your palms down. I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see me just a little bit better, the angle we're going to be doing here. You're going to take your right leg, reach it out to the side, have your knee bent. And again, you can be in a plank or in kneeling. <clears throat> And we're just going to draw little circles here for five, four, three, two, and then circle the other way. Five, four, trying to keep the other side of the body as still as possible. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Now try to isolate and just use the outside of your hip. Pull the leg up towards the ceiling and pull the leg up towards the ceiling. And five, four, three, two, hold it at the top for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Take a deep breath. Shake out your hands if you need to. Okay, right back to it before we get tired and decide that we don't want to. You're going to take your left leg out to the side, lift it up, circle around. Okay. I got so tired, I forgot what we were doing here. And then let's reverse it. Let's circle our leg the other way. And three, and two. Now hold the leg out to the side here. Hold it out. I'm gonna do little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, exhale each time you lift. Three, two. Now hold it here. Hold it here for 10 seconds. Make sure you're lifting from your knee and not just lifting your heel up. We have five, four, three, two, one. Whew, set the knee down. See, whew, you don't even need the band to feel the burn, right? <laughs> We're going to take the band off from around our elbows here. We're going to move into a bridge position. So the band is going to go back to kind of where it was in the beginning when we were standing. You're going to take it and bring it up above your knees, uh, one to two inches. And it should be a little bit snug, a little bit hard to open your knees more than about like three or four inches. Like your fist should fit between your knees, but not much more than that. Okay. We're going to lie all the way back and down onto the mat. And I like to do this with my hands reaching up towards the ceiling. You can have your hands on the floor if you feel like you want more support for your back and your shoulders. You're going to pull your shoulder blades together, broaden across your collarbones, spread your toes, and then watch that your feet aren't turning out or in. They're staying completely parallel. Okay, push your big toes into the floor. Inhale. We're going to articulate up. So you're slowly going to peel your hips off the mat, your low back your middle back, and then think, reach your knees away from you, grip onto the floor, engage your hamstrings, and then slowly lower back down, lower from your rib cage, your middle back, your low back, and then your hips. Take a deep breath at the bottom, inhale, and then exhale, pull your navel in, pull your shoulders down and back, press your hips up towards the ceiling, pause here at the top, lengthen out through the top of your head, and then slowly lower back down, one vertebra at a time. So my knees are staying parallel here. They're not turned out. The next time I'm gonna lift up tall and I'm gonna hold it. And I'm plugging my shoulder blades down into the mat. Okay, so this is a little stability challenge here. <clears throat> this one's gonna be tough. So if you need to, you can always just tap your toe down onto the floor. I'm gonna shift my weight into my left side and reach my right leg out here, okay. So already this is hard. You might also want to put your hands down. You're going to take your leg, lift it up an inch, and then down. And up an inch, and then down. Ooh, I feel my leg quiver when I move up an inch there. That's normal if that happens to you. We have seven and six. Pull up through your left side obliques. Five, four, three, two, then hold your leg here. Okay, I'm going to push through my heels, spread through my toes, and press my hips up an inch. 
or whatever I feel like is an inch, however much higher I can go with that left side glute. We have six and five and four, three, two, one. Ooh, okay, we're gonna lower down here for a moment. Set the right leg down, take a deep breath. That felt so good, but so bad at the same time. <laughs> deep breath in, pull your shoulder blades down, press your hands up to the ceiling, lift your hips back up. Okay, other leg, other side. So your left leg is gonna reach out here. We're gonna float the leg up an inch and then down, and up an inch and then down. We have seven and six and five and four and three and two. Now we're gonna hold it here, hold it lifted. I'm gonna press through my right side hip. I'm gonna press it up an inch and up an inch and eight. Good, pull your abs in as you lift your hips up, pull your shoulder blades down, lengthen out through the back of the neck. This is a total body movement. Your glutes are the ones working the hardest. We have three and two and one. Set ourselves all the way down here. You can hug your knees into your chest for a moment. Rock a little bit from side to side. That was awesome, you guys. That one was so tough. Okay, now we're going to get into a little bit of focused ab work. So I'm going to have you pull the band down. So it's at about the middle of your calf, somewhere, you know, between your ankles and your knees. Again, we don't want it over a joint here. I'm going to take my hands behind my head, elbows out wide to the side. Deep breath here. My knees are bent. Uh, my navel is hugging towards my spine, so I'm really connecting through my lower abdominals. Your head can stay lowered as you tap your toes down towards the floor and then pull your knees back towards you, or you can lift your head up. So this is a double leg toe tap, and I'm pressing out just ever so slightly into the band just to keep tension. I'm not doing anything wild here. We have six, five, and four, and three, and two, and see, we've been using our abs the whole time, so my abs are already tired, and one. Okay, we're gonna lower the head down, have your knees come into your chest for a moment. So you can always go back to that variation of the double leg lower and lift, um, or the double leg toe tap. Now we're gonna go into our straight leg lower and lift. So my feet are parallel here. If you want more through your glutes, through your Outside of your hip, you can turn your legs out. We're gonna slowly lower down to where you feel you can maintain through your core and then pull back up. And lower and lift. And five and four and three and two. One more time. Lower, and then let's hold it where you can maintain it. So I'm gonna go about halfway here. Okay, you all knew this was coming, or you should have. We're gonna press out on the band, and press out for eight, and seven, and six. Your abs go in as your legs go out, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Oh, bend the knees back in. Lower your head down, rock it out a little bit from side to side. Whew. Okay, we just have two more moves. We are almost there, you guys. We're gonna keep our head down for this first one. Your hands can reach out to the side. We'll start with the knees bent. Keep the tension out into the band. Your knees and your ankles should be the same width apart. So none of this and none of that. And then let the knees drop over to the side and then pull back through center. And then over to the other side and pull back through center. So really try to just use the side of your waist to pull back in. Use your breath. You can start to straighten your legs out and away from you, dropping them over to the side and then pull back in. You can press out on the band as you come back in. And over and up. One more time each way over and up and other side over and up 
very last move here. We're going to be going basically around the world. You're going to take your hands behind your head. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift through your head, neck, and shoulders. Now drop the legs out to the side, down, around, and up through the center, and then immediately reverse it, going the other way. Now, if this feels like a lot with your legs straight, you can bend the knees slightly or make a much smaller circle. You don't have to go as wide or as low as I'm going here. You can go in a much smaller range of motion, and that makes it a little bit more accessible. Ooh. Okay, let's do one more time back. Ooh. And then one more time around. Ooh. And then bend your knees in towards your chest. Lower your head. We'll take this band off here. Wiggle your toes. We'll rock and roll ourselves up to sit and then up to stand. Give yourselves a hand. That was such hard work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Perfect 10 Total Body Glute Band Workout. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know not to make a video like this again. And subscribe to my channel uh, for a new video every single week. Either Pilates yoga, aerial yoga, reformer. Always something new. Bye.